Okay, welcome back to my channel. My name is Indivan, and today I'm making super, super long wool braids. No, they're not crochet. I'm going to make them on my hair directly. I don't like making my hair, so it always takes a village. So uh, what you usually do is you get the wool. It's just this normal wool in the market. You get the wool, and then they cut to the desired length that you want. As you can see, was done here. And then my sister is speaking. I think here we used 17 um, lines each for each braid. So what she did was to pick them for me. And then I made little knots so that they don't get tangled. And also so that I can just pick easily and give the lady making the hair without having to count like every single time. I think that's the part that stresses me out about making my hair. The responsibility of actually being a part of making the hair. I just want to see it and get off and my hair should be done in the shortest time possible. Any hair that takes a whole day, I'm not making it. Any hair that hurts, I'm not making it. Any hair that does not have semi like colors or like beads or something, I'm not making it. <laughs> Any hair that requires like a lot from me, is out of it. Any hair that I cannot sleep with, like you're done and then I can't sleep, I have to like hold my head up. We are not making the hair. <laughs> so this wool for me works well. So she doesn't hold my hair too tightly at the scalp. You no, know, this Nigerian um, hairdresser has to tell you they want your hair to last. Me, I tell them, I don't want my hair to last. Just make it loose. Ah, ah. Because of hair, you won't be able to sleep well. No, God forbid. So I always try to make my hair to be as comfortable as possible and as big as possible, as you can see. See how large she's cutting it. I think this is like the smallest size of hair I make. So if you see me with hair smaller than this, it is most likely a week. <laughs> most likely a week. So this is just what we did over and over, separating the wool bits into the number that we wanted. I will tie it into a knot when she needs it. I'll give her one piece and then she'll do her best to twist it without tangling her fingers and her whole life inside the hair she really did a good job my hair is quite tough it's natural so it's quite tough and um also when you're making wool that is super long even attachment any hair that is very long it's always very hard to manipulate if you don't know what you're doing the tips of my hair are a bit brown because i dyed them i think last year i dyed the tips of my hair last year but most of the dye is out and i can't decide if i want to dye it again so i'm just letting this dye kind of wear off and then i'll see because i'm contemplating a relaxer i know naturally so as don't come for my head but you guys like i'm so tired if i'm not wearing a wig i don't know what to do with my hair i don't have the patience to do like fancy styles and all of that i i don't know i might find the patience if i invest in it um time knowledge money kinda but for now i'm just like not in that space and most people keep asking me, what are you doing to make your hair long? I'm not doing anything. I do, literally do nothing to my hair. I don't even comb it. In fact, this is the part I hate. The part where they have to comb your hair to make it. I just wash my hair, make cornrows, and I wear a wig. I don't even do, like, daily hair care and, um, like, special. I don't do anything special to my hair. Like, the hair is just there. I just feel like hair is like grass. <laughs> like grass to me like just let it be it just keeps growing <laughs> but i want to be a bit intentional like this year 2020 please i want to be very intentional about my hair especially my front hair guys my front hair is an embarrassment to my destiny i really want to do something about it so if you have any products that you're using that is making your front hair grow made your front hair to grow please share the secret i'm begging you so um my dad kept passing and saying this hair is long this hair is long <laughs> i do not was having a problem with the hair with the length of the hair but the good thing about making my hair now is um i can do whatever i want to do with it growing up i just couldn't like <sighs> if i wanted to make a style your mother told you that <laughs> god and your mother told you that it's not for it's for girls without home training <laughs> I can't, uh, so many things, so many styles I wanted to do, man, I just couldn't, so now that I'm a bit older, I tend to, like, just do whatever I want to do with my hair, I want to do long hair, I do long hair, 
want to do short, I want to do short hair. If I want to cut it, and she almost had a stroke when I cut my hair. But that's life for you. <laughs> so this is basically what she did over and over for like five hours until we were done. And then we we're almost done and then we still had to cut. This is how the length is gotten. So you drop uh, two or three, you can roll three, four walls at the same time. So you just keep rolling, rolling until you get what you want. And then you cut just one edge. It was just one edge of it I cut because I wanted it super long. But if you're not going to make it very long, you can cut both sides and then fold into two. So basically, the length of my hair is the length in between them. <laughs> so this we're done. We're putting in the beads now. I actually put in the beads while she was almost done with the front part. So we just put in the beads and then they tie the bottom of the wool so that the bead doesn't come out worn and also so that the braid doesn't loosen. So you have to tie it properly and then we're going to burn the the edge bit the tip part of it, the part see where she's cutting. And then we're going to use a candle just to burn the edges to make sure that the braid does not scatter. So you guys let me know crochet or making your hair. What do you prefer? I definitely prefer making my hair in terms of when I have to pack it up because I don't like that crochet line that um, weave line that shows at the bottom crochet line and even weaves if it's not like a closure or like a 360 thing i'm not comfortable packing my hair up i think that's the only advantage that i feel making your hair directly has over a wig or crochet guys at this point i was done <laughs> like the video the hair everything in fact i haven't told the lady that it's only her that is here now like me me, me i'm gone <laughs> i'm gone it was just how my head and my scalp were there. Right there. I was just out, out of it. I was done, done, done. And I was super hungry. Like, I think this is the most patient I've been making my hair. I'm not really a patient person when it comes to hair. I just feel like hair that takes time just, just takes too much time. Like, you shouldn't have to spend all day in a salon. It's just not my life. <laughs> like, the, I just want to be in and out like a crabada. Just abracadabra just <laughs> in and out in and out so i'm not i'm not a touchy feely person when it comes to hair so this is what happens to the beads and pieces at the bottom she's doing that and then the water on the table is so her fingers can be wet and she can just merge the wool together you know wool is like cloth wool is just like cloth so it's quite light, which is why I have started leaning towards it as opposed to the normal synthetic um, attachments that we use. It itches me. I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's an, I don't know if I became allergic to it. I don't know if my skin became sensitive to it, but I've been using attachments all my life. But for the past, since I went natural, I think, since I went natural, I just became overly sensitive to our normal attachments here, the one we used to make here. So the wool for me was just like an alternative. Let me try if this doesn't itch that much. And then I tried it and it was much lighter. Like when you make super long hair, like if this was attachment, this would be super heavy. But when you make like really long hair, it's much lighter. It doesn't itch my scalp or my body. So it just works very well for me. So this is the end result. If you watched up until this time, you're super you're patient. <laughs> This is the end result and I really, really love my hair. I love really long hair and if I'm going to make all black, then it's got to have some embellishments on it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and let me know what you're making on your hair. Mwah.